The fact that it is much more transmissible than even the alpha variant, the UK variant that we've been experiencing since the spring is what makes this Delta variant so concerning. So we use a, a, a term called r naught to estimate how transmissible a disease is. So for example, measles, which is the most transmissible disease that we know, has an r naught of about 15 to 18. Every case of measles could infect 15 to 18 other people, assuming no one is vaccinated, everyone's susceptible. The original COVID virus had an R-naught of around two and a half, um, meaning every person could infect two to three other people. Now that was widely variable. Some people were known as super spreaders where they infected many, many people. Others didn't infect anyone else at all. However, this Delta variant has an R-naught estimated between four to five. So it's, it's significantly more it, contagious to other people, assuming that those other people are not vaccinated and are otherwise susceptible. So. The main concern is that we still have a lot of variability in vaccination rates across the country and there are pockets of communities that have very, very low vaccination rates. There is the chance that you could have these local kind of super spreading events where a lot of people get infected very quickly um, and it can really kind of exponentially spread uh, because of how, how transmissible this new variant is. The good news is that vaccination is, com is very effective in preventing people from getting the Delta variant. So if you haven't already, now is the time to be vaccinated.